Welcome back to Never Move Once Challenge in Vampire Survivors and to spice it up we are going for Wicked Season. That is unexpected, is that good? I mean, let's give it a shot. I, I, we, are, we have never had these weapons, right? There's a lot of change in the game and we want to see how they- Okay, this is horrible. I'll never get the experience. Oh my god, this is really bad. Victory Sword. Well, that's a broken weapon. I guess we'll take that because the beautiful part is when the enemies hit me, they die. Okay, so that's like p perfect, you know, it's beautiful. Duplicator or Empty Tome? I think we'll go for Empty Tome. Reason being, we want to have the cooldown. And here it's actually very important that you get the powerful stuff early on. And one of the biggest issues here is, well, number one, we don't go for Bloodline Arcana, okay? It's just way too good for that. Garlic is actually fine. Sure, let's take that. Not the biggest fan, but because we have the victory sword now, but it should still be good. Uh, but yeah, pretty much the way this works is a little bit different compared to how it usually is in the game. Why are you... Okay, it goes further down. Good, good, good. No, it's a bit different, you know. As I said, I have the limitation and I need a track orb here. If you don't get a track orb, then uh, we have a big problem, which is... That could... No, that is horrible. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, these work a little bit different than your typical games. Oh no. I mean, let's just hope I level up quickly. I got the crown. Come on, that's a slight bonus. So, when there's too much experience around, then... <gasps> okay, the furthest away gem will turn red eventually. And this for you just means that's it. Um, no, I need pentagram, right? We need... Well, do we need penta- we need pentagram. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. So, in general, don't expect that we'll be able to pick up chests, okay? This happens super rarely, it can happen, but it has to happen when the weapons are maxed out, and it also has to happen post 10 minutes, so most of the times it just doesn't happen. And going for Wicked Season is just to spice up things, there are multiple ways how to do that, we could've also went for Mad Groove, that all the experience flies in and we are guaranteed to get it, but, this one here obviously makes it harder, but in my books also more fun because we reach higher levels. And if this was just about winning, we would just go for the Blood Diana Kena because it's busted, the enemies walk all into you, give you a huge amount of HP, and bonus damage when you're missing HP. So when a tough boss comes in and starts damaging you, your damage just goes bonkers and you kill him, right? There's no challenge in this and this is why I have this usually banned except for some rare cases where I think it's like the only way of doing it, or there are exceptional cases where it's a lot of fun to do it. Uh, yeah, there's a red gem. Restart. Only 17% of all people watching are subscribed, so if you enjoy the content, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. Ooh, that is early. Oh, that is nice. Okay. Static projectiles with a chance to explode. I mean, that should actually be good, right? So we have clones of Mortaccio. But do I have to move around for them? I don't think so, right? Do I? No, that's just the other character that needed movement to cast something. Yeah, okay. Well, interesting. So we do have the clones. They they are good. Like, they are not bad. There we go, garlic. Garlic should actually kill the enemies for quite some time, so I'm not too concerned. Like, now we are at a state where we can just stand still. Well, that was an amazing start, except that we died. That means I kind of want to have Turagisu. There's a track. Oh, beautiful. Early on, you just level up like crazy. The only thing that I'm not too familiar with is the curse here. If garlic will be enough, but as long as we keep upgrading it, maybe also getting spinach would be good. We don't... Well, there's spinach. We don't want to have Ken Lapador, because that's just means the enemies die further away and it will be harder to get our old experience. In a perfect case, we pretty much always kill the enemies when we can soak it up, but because, uh, yeah, eventually that stops happening, we will need... Ooh, King Bible. Yeah, sure. We will need Pentagram to wipe out the experience, okay? Very important. Uh, there we go. Laurel is usually also good. Should we already go for that? Do we even go for that? Well, we are down one revival. I don't like that. You are not good. I'm open to take new weapons like the Bubblies. Actually, the Silver Wind would probably be really good since it can heal me. Oh, that would actually be... Well, only if it, like, kills someone, right? There's Pentagram. This is too early. It's not too early. Let's go for it. Of course you... <laughs> You did that, you dingus. The point is that it wipes out the experience, you know, that it doesn't build up like in the last run where we end up with a red gem. Once you get the red gem, it's impossible to level up anymore. One thing you can do if you're really desperate is you wait until bosses appear. And if your uh, attract orb is not maxed out yet, then you can hope that Laurel? 
Okay, let's just be boring. Let's do that. Let's let's get the win because this is actually about the evolution. We want to see how good it is. Um, but yeah, you can hope for a chest that drops on top of you that the boss doesn't get pushed away when he dies. And then you get a level up in a tracked orb, which, um, yeah, let's just yeah, actually take that. Yeah, beautiful. There we go. So this will be quite spicy because it has been a while since my last no movement challenge. I don't know if I if I still got it, you know, but I think the way I usually always do it is the weapons that don't go out far. So something like the garlic, the king bible, we upgrade them early on because we always get everything that we get from them as kills, right? Like the experience. But with bone, if a bone ends up flying through the enemies and thrusts them outside here, then we will never ever get the experience. Experience. This is actually really good though. Oh, should I take it? Let's just take it. We don't really care about any of the stats. Projectile speed doesn't really help us. Duration doesn't help us. Area is counterintuitive or counterproductive, I should say. We could go for crown though, for more level up. Sure, why not? It's not really optimal. Again, as I said, we want to have, uh, what is its name? The Tiragisu, yes, because we have zero revivals left. So if we die, <laughs> that was it. And there are quite some tough bosses. So what is the actual hard part about this? Well, for starters, that the experience doesn't build up. And because we have pentagram, we should be fine. There should be nothing that can go wrong with that. It can happen that pentagram just doesn't erase for some blasts, but eventually it will happen. Next up, there are the banshees that fly in. And if they explode on you without a shield on, this can be a problem, but usually it's not a big one, but bosses, okay? So at three minutes, the first one spawns. But later on, at 20, minutes there's the first boss that takes less knockback it still takes knockback but less but at 25 minutes the boss is knockback immune that means yeah the boss will walk into us and we have to kill the boss before the boss kills us and that's why we need the revivals that our bone can keep thrusting the boss away into oblivion while we get revived oh empty tome uh what do we go for then do we even need anything? Like Tiragisu, yes, but like anything else that I have to debate about now? That was a really fast kill though. Wow, that was insane. No, but I think we are fine. Right now we are also killing a majority of the enemies, if not even like almost all of them around us. Do you see that? Like even with Curse, sure, some of them get pushed away, but I get almost all the experience. Do we want to be super greedy? I shouldn't be greedy. Does it even help us to do that? Because look at our weapons. This doesn't benefit from it. This doesn't benefit from it. This doesn't benefit from it. No, 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 no. We'll go for Tiragisu. And once we lose Tiragisu, and I'm pretty sure it will happen at a 25 minute mark, we can just go for Duplicator. And then we can power ourselves up for the uh, upcoming waves afterwards, right? Yeah, that's a good plan. I like that. And I mean, if we don't end up dying, then we don't need to power ourselves up and then we don't need a Duplicator. Sounds good. I like the plan. No, I really like the plan. Okay. Okay, so it's probably about time that I... No, I want to have Pentagram at level 2, but then I will banish it. Because at level 2 the cooldown goes down, we want it to blast off as frequent as possible. But at level 3, right now it has a 90% chance to raise, but then it goes down to 75%. You should also be aware that this is affected by our luck, as well as the luck stat at the bottom here. So when it's doubled, our luck is doubled. And that actually puts it at a very high chance. Like, right now it's 160%, then it goes to 320%. So 32% chance to not erase. And again, we always want to erase. Very important. Do we want to go for 100% bonus curse, though? I'm not too sure about that. I mean, we can give it a try. If we are, like, so safe that we go for Tiragisu, then that should be possible and doable. Yeah, yeah, sure. Garlic. Now, garlic is, is it's a little bit split. Why would you want to take garlic and why would you not want to take garlic? Well, later on, garlic pretty much has no use anymore. It becomes pointless. Like, it helps with knockback, that's true. It increases the knockback the enemies take, but that's also it. So having a stronger weapon instead that can kill a boss would be better, like Victory Sword. However, early on you farm so crazy with garlic that you get a huge boost in levels and I think for that it's worth it and keep in mind we want to reach level 80 that we evolve to the bone guy and once we're the bone guy we have the rotating arms around us and they deal AoE damage to all the enemies which is very good believe it or not. There's a lot of stuff building up though. Yeah it's a mirage rope. I think it was actually a bad choice to go for that I can't believe it. Like I thought that would be a good one but it doesn't feel like it. Do we want to go for the bonus curse? Is the bonus curse a good idea? 
Uh, funny enough, it could be good because the enemies get further in, right? Because they have more curse. It also means with knockback they get knocked back further, which is kind of bad because we don't want them to die far away. And uh, there's a red gem, so pentagram, uh, if you want to go up any moment. Uh, wow. How did we... What? That boss just exploded, quite literally. <laughs> that is insane. Okay. And by the way, at times like this where we just wait, the enemies die, but I don't get any experience, I, I'll just skip the time, okay? Oh, uh, pentagram, thank you for doing nothing. That's great, as always. It's, thank you, friend. Doesn't it feel great that you have so many farm waves and you don't get any experience at all? No, it doesn't feel great. And at six minutes, it's a tough wave, so we get nothing. And I can already see how the next blast of Pentagram will just wipe out all the experience to rub it in. Actually, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, that's way more enemies than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, uh, that kind of turned that wave into a farm wave, except that they are, you know, tougher. Uh, Pentagram, if you want to go off... Not now, okay? Luck is doubled right now. Don't go off now. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Wait now. Oh my god! That was perfectly timed! That was amazing, Pentagram! Okay, let, look, give me all the experience. Yeah, the, the images, they're actually really bad. I don't like them. <laughs> they're horrible. Because even when they don't kill the enemies, then... Uh, uh, I have to click on the screen here, there we go. Even if they don't kill the enemies, they still freeze them, right? So... that's not good. Can they freeze the boss, though? I don't think so, right? Because Clock Lancet also can't do it, so it would be surprising if this one could do it. But who knows? I've never tried it. And you only know stuff if you try it out. Um, I I'm actually not a fan of going for Empty Tome right now, thinking about it. Because it means we get more of these images. Okay, there were a big mistake. I didn't expect this, okay? I didn't know this. We'll banish Pentagram here, by the way. Yes, it will never be a wolf because the odds that we get a chest to actually evolve Pentagram is incredibly low. Uh, let's take a look at our weapons. Can we evolve any of them? No. Right? Uh, Mirage Rope, maybe? What did you take to evolve? Wait, that is the wrong one. Uh, Grimoire. There we go, over there. Okay, so we can actually evolve this. And it would be a 50-50 if we get a chest. It's an if, not when. If we get a chest, it's a 50-50 if it's moon. If not, then that means we had pentagram on the max level where it's impossible to erase experience because it goes up to 65% multiplied with our luck. It, it doesn't erase anymore. And that's why we don't do that because you mess up your run in hopes that you eventually get a chest and you won't level up anymore until you get a chest. Like not even something has to happen like a blast of pentagram, like when we were waiting with the red gem. No, 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 no. It's it's just game over for the next 20 minutes. Great video decks. The images were a mistake. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 I'm not really complaining because they're killing the enemies, but we are not preparing for this wave right here. Like, this is not our struggle wave. Our struggle wave will be way later when the enemies are stronger, and for that I would like to have a high level, okay? So please give me the experience. I just kind of wanted to try out, you know, if some of the new weapons work. And I could have seen this one. That was beautiful, by the way. Uh, I could have seen this one work if it wouldn't attack so frequently, like cast so frequently. And I think it, like, does it even spawn two of them always? Um, I'm not too sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, four, six, six. Yeah, I think it spawns two on each side. Maybe even more because they're also stuck inside of me sometimes. I'm not too sure about that. I have to be careful that I don't accidentally click somewhere. Okay. The red gem is over there, by the way. And do you see how reliant we are on the pentagram? If you wouldn't have this, this would be horrible. We wouldn't do anything. And we got like, what, one level since the last blast of pentagram? Yeah, you don't get a lot. What does actually the evolu- Oh, thank you, pentagram. What does the evolution do? Oh no, they walk out and distract the enemies. Wait, that could be really good. Like, if we get that on 25 minutes, no, better. If we get that on 20 minutes, there's a boss that, you know, takes less knockback. It's not zero, but it's less. If he manages to die on top of us, the only weapon we can evolve is a rope. And that would give us the distract guys, and they would then distract the boss at 25 minutes. That is the real deal, the real tough one. Oh my god. Wait, that would be beautiful. I I'll also go for Toruna Curse, because, like, look at this. <laughs> this is just bonkers. I, I need more curse that they live longer. 
Yeah, pentagram blaster, but it didn't wipe out the experience. That's great. And in case you're wondering, why do you do that next? Like, there are so many easy ways to win this way. It's a challenge, right? But if you do a challenge and there's a super easy way to win, like with Divine Bloodline or some other arcana that are just way too overpowered, then is, is it fun? Is it really a challenge? So I like to limit myself, but I don't like to limit things that I consider a lot of fun, like Wicked Season, because it, it can be more exciting. Now, to be fair, if you just don't end up getting any experience, it also didn't help, but at least the enemies have more curves. No, it's something. Oh, finally. Yeah, and now you guys just kill everything outside again. Dude, I'm getting no experience. Look at this. Oh, this is a meme. Oh, uh, I kind of wish you could just remove a weapon. Oh, there's a red gem again. Wait, already? We just started. It just, like, it just blasted. No. And I don't even think the curse will help all too much because this weapon is actually quite powerful, as you can see. Like, one with damage is no joke. Though, once the enemies do become more tanky... I do expect that we get more kills. 11, by the way. There they will be a lot more tanky, and I hope they don't just get frozen, because <laughs> then they still stay over there. Okay, now, do you think we can get this... Pentagram? <laughs> I mean, thank you for raising the enemies, or the experience, I guess, but, um, you know, this is just like, of course you had to do that in that moment. <laughs> like, man, I just got excited. Because if we would have gotten an Arcana, which is very, very unlikely because the bet takes a huge amount of knockback. But if, okay, if, then we could have gotten Mad Groove to pull in all the experience. Because I think we've proven the point that we are surviving. And it would have been just more fun, maybe. Just saying. I'm not even sure. Oh, 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 thank you. Yeah, I'm not even sure if we'll reach level 80 here. I <laughs> gotta be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this is just getting worse and worse and worse. Well, there's Torona. One more level and we got the 100% bonus curse. It won't double the HP because it just goes to 183%, which then in total is 283%. So it's like 50% bonus to the current value, but that's still 50% more HP and 50% more speed, which is the one that I'm more concerned about, that the enemies can rush in faster. Though, again, look at this. The ones that rarely survive, they just get frozen. So like, what What's the point? <laughs> they would still stay over there. Oh, I can't believe that I actually have fun with this. I've played this game now for over a year, and you may say, yeah, but Dex, there are people out there that played League of Legends for 10 years on YouTube. Yeah, I know. But, like, can you compare the frequent patches and the amount of content and the amount of variety a game like League of Legends has to Vampire Survivors? Like, Vampire Survivors is a great game, but I'm closing in on 1.2k hours, and I don't think that is normal. Well, I guess, yeah, someone who does League of Legends since 10 years also has abnormal times in there, but, like, you know, this stuff is edited. The script writes itself because of updates and everything. Or just playing with friends. So, uh, why are you moving in? Wait, how did that just happen? Do you see that? Like, he got frozen over there and <laughs> just kept moving. I'm in a good mood today, as you might have noticed, because I'm laughing about something stupid like that. Hey, but it's great. Like, I like it. Thank you, Pentagram. Good friend. I like you. I always like you, except when I don't like you because you do something stupid, but aside from this, I like you. Now, we do have to be careful. We can't sadly pick random always with the limit break stats, okay? Because if we do that, we'll get chance stats on... No, let's just make the bone more powerful. Maybe also some area, but too big means it kills too many enemies too far away. Actually, no, it doesn't. Yeah, we can just go for size. Okay, sure, let's do that. A big bone is always important to have. You know, we gotta show the heck what we can do with our big bones here. <laughs> the multi-boner. <laughs> oh, yeah. One day I'll grow up, but it's not today. <laughs> do we have some balls? Oh, yeah, look at this. There's a pair of balls. <laughs> oh, and we even got the blue balls. That's not fun. Ladies or, 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 or gentlemen. Okay, that also... Don't leave behind a blue ball, okay? That's illegal. You don't do that. Or don't create one, at least, you know? You can leave it behind because it's not your problem to take care of. I do understand that, but don't create blue balls. What am I talking about? Especially because we're kind of surrounded by blue balls here. <laughs> it's fitting. Yeah, see, this is what happens when you do that. Don't do this. This is suffering. This is torture. It's not fun. Don't send booba pigs, okay, just to torture someone. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, what are we doing again? <laughs> I drifted off there. 
Uh, 69k kills, nice. And oh my god, Pentagram, I love you. You're amazing. Okay, there we go. Uh, level 76, we are closing in. Yeah, this is the reason why we can't do random always, because if we get this, then eventually our Pentagram will not wipe out anything anymore. And in case you haven't listened what I talked about in the last 20 minutes, it's very important that it wipes out everything, okay? Very important. Um -pa -lum -pa -lum -pa -lum what happens with these bosses? Like, I don't understand that they keep moving despite being frozen and, like, the boss wasn't pushed right. That was its own weird, chunky, chunky movement. <laughs> I don't know. But we are level 76, there's a red gem. We can always play the game of find the red gem, though eventually it may be outside if a weapon kills him outside. Uh, Pentagram, it's your time to show what you can do. I mean, the, the timing decks, you are so... I'm just so used to the pentagram cooldown, okay? <laughs> I don't even know what it is in seconds. But um, th that, that was amazing. Area, no, let's go for Might. Yeah, Mighty Bone is uh, very important. <laughs> Can we just stop doing the same joke over and over again? It's getting quite boning. Uh, boring, sorry. Yeah, that was totally unintentional, definitely. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I should really grow up sometimes. Just a little bit, you know, because you can make your jokes, but, like, doing an entire video where you keep making the similar jokes, then it's kind of like, yeah, who wants to watch that? Yeah, ladies, are you interested? A very mature guy over here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm turning 29, by the way, in 15 days, okay, on the 23rd of February. I don't believe it myself, either, okay, but once I do turn 30, well, then I feel old. I mean, I kind of already feel old because I'm like, I, I feel like I'm a 20-year-old, you know, stuck in a, in a body of a 29-year-old, or, yeah, pretty much on the life, because I... When I do things or when I talk to people, the thing is, I can mostly have younger friends or really someone who is also stuck in the mind of someone like me. And by younger, I mean like, you know, 20 to 23. Because, like, I'll say nice and they'll be like, where's the 69, you know? While as if I talk to someone my age, especially women, <laughs> and I say nice and they're like, oh, what, what is nice? Yeah, hey, look at the number. It's like, hey, what is with the number? And I'm like, <laughs> You, you, you hurt my heart. <laughs> you hurt me right there. <laughs> How do you not get the reference, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I'm in a good mood, as I said. Okay. Well, I mean, let's go for the, I guess, King Bible. I would go for the Mirage Rope, but the goal is kind of that it doesn't kill the enemies anymore. So I don't want to make it more powerful. It was a mistake, okay? It just sometimes happens, you know? You're just having a good night. You're driving back home. <gasps> oh! Wait, what? No, I've seen someone do this. It didn't replicate the bone guy. Why does it replicate the bone guy? The big bone. Wait, we are replicating big bones here. We are big bone factory. Oh my god. Okay. Wh wh I, I actually, I, I had no idea. Wait, that is so good. Look at this. They don't go out anymore. They just, you, Pentagram, I hate you. You suck. You're a sucker. But that is amazing. Well, I, what? I like, I literally watched a video about this because I was curious if when you duplicate this character, if you get Motachio or this character. And in that video, it was Motachio. So I was like, yeah, we'll just have Motachio here. I didn't even think about it, you know. They, they, it was fixed or changed. That is beautiful. And now look at how clumsy up they are. We are just a big chunky bone here. <laughs> I'm talking way too much about bones and balls. <laughs> like the thing is you would think I'm gay or or maybe bi, you know, at least that. <laughs> and it's not the case. But it, something is something is just weird with my mind. I think it's like fart jokes, you know. Just because you think fart jokes are funny doesn't mean you want someone else to poop on you. It's like does it does it make sense? Well, did you ever think about that even? Huh? Are you considerate? Do you have empathy? Hello? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> I really hope YouTube just doesn't understand what I'm talking about because I'm just talking nonsense because otherwise I think this video will be um, restricted a little bit, age restricted or so. Or, or restricted with ads. So hey, how about you, you go help out this little boner here? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, give the video a like. Hey, if you like the content, subscribe. I'm not always like this, but most of the times so when I'm not like this, then I'm usually really sad. Which, um, 
It doesn't happen that often. Oh, there we go, speed. Oh, it feels good to be back on YouTube fully. Uh, I say fully, you know, the thing is, I'm, I'm a little bit lost. If you lose two months, well, it wasn't full two months, but one and a half months of doing content creation, it's, it's a little bit hard to put your mind back into it. Thank you, Pentagram, yet again. It's a little bit hard to get back into it, especially because we were on a huge, huge hype train of Protado, if you remember that. Like, November was the craziest month I've ever had. It was bonkers. And usually what you do when you have a popular game is, first of all, you keep it going. Second of all, you need to make sure, and it does make sense, right, to solidify the audience. As in, make more videos for them and show them, hey, it's not just about the game, it's also about you. And you can watch other similar games that they will also enjoy, but mainly because they enjoy you, right? But if this process never happens, then people will just watch one single game and that's it. And that's kind of what happened with Protato. Like, really? hard and it's sad but yeah there was no other choice there i could have forced myself to make videos but um it, 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 it was not a good time thank you pentagram what is going on why are you so kind today see this is what happens when i talk a lot about bones and balls <laughs> <laughs> pentagram likes that. I like my pentagram as well. There's the boss, by the way, with knockback. Um, yeah, he is nowhere close. Well, he has knockback resistance, is what I mean. Slide resistance. The problem is he got frozen. I really wonder right now if this weapon can freeze the boss at 25 minutes. That will be interesting. Also, what is going on with our bone? Why, why is it so fast? Like, I got some speed upgrades, but what is this? Oh my god, the more it bounces, the faster it becomes with this character. We have a super bone. Oh, experts also call this a quickie. Okay. <laughs> it's just so stupid because it kind of really works, right? Like, look at how quick it is, but, you know, it's, it's a, there's a quickie. And also, it's kind of negative if, if, if it's just, you know, oh my god, Pentagram, I love you. Do you want to marry me? Maybe that's it. I don't need a woman in my life. I need Pentagram. It just delete me. <laughs> you know, it started... What am I doing? Where's my cursor? There. It started off so nice. It's like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, love Pentagram and everything. And it's like, yeah, just delete me. <laughs> Please don't erase me, okay? If you ever become a thing, Mr. Pentagram. But if you want, you can show me your moon, if you know what I mean. George's glorious moon. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm turning 29, by the way. <laughs> oh, this dude looks so stupid. <laughs> Have you ever focused on his face? <laughs> Why is he doing it so fast? Oh, it's something, okay. Well, your arms around. There we go. So if anyone ever gets here, then... Oh, I mean... Pendergram was an insane streak. Like, look at our luck right now. It's 92%, sometimes doubled. It was insane that it didn't kill the enemies for so long, but instead erased them, right? So, I, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. It's like with relationships, you know? There are usually a lot of ups, because that's the point why you're together, right? If you don't get a benefit out of it, as in, you improve your life quality or how you feel, then it's kind of pointless to be together, because, like, why are you together then? But, like, there are also obviously downsides, you know? where it, it, it goes down and then you have to just commit and you have to go through it and stick through it together. There we go. I don't even know how I got into this topic right now because it, it, it was kind of pointless what I said there. I don't think it's false, but like, why? <laughs> no. Oh, but there we go. Thank you, Pendagram, by the way. Didn't forget about it. Maybe I already said it even, like just uh, automatically. But uh, yeah. We are level 107, it's going really well. More speed for the Bible, I like that. Though I really do want to have more speed on the bone. The, the harder you drill... <laughs> no, but the thing is, the bouncing, right, increases its speed, and I don't know if this is a percentage value. Like, for example, 5% speed, or a set value. If it's percentage-based, like, you get 5% projectile speed on top of it, then it would be insane to have more base value, thank you, Pentagram. If it isn't, then, eh, at least we still have a faster bow, you know. Okay, there we go. Just gotta be very careful with friction, you know, because um, that can that can burn in, in multiple different ways. There's one that is very uncomfortable, and you don't want to have that dough. <laughs> I've experienced one, not myself. I've experienced one on vacation, where, where <laughs> someone <laughs> set their sheets on fire. Now you may be saying, how do you set your sheets on fire? What were kind of BDSM stuff were they doing in there, you know, with candle wax or so? Nice stuff, by the way. Why am I talking about this? No, 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 no. What actually happened there is, 
You know these these warm blankets where like when you put them around you you always sweat like you're in a sauna and I never understood why people do that and I I just feel like suffocating. But yeah, these blankets were below them or I don't know exactly what they were doing, but um, they also create these these electrical sparks, you know, where if you if you go over something, it, it sparkles in, in the night. And yeah, apparently <laughs> that way they set their sheets on fire. <laughs> oh, this is quite stupid, isn't it? Imagine you have to evacuate your room. You're like, yep, well, I mean, we set our sheets on fire. I don't know how it's happened. And then you just see the guy next to it, like with this, with this brow, proud grin. It's like where everyone knows nothing needs to be said, but everyone knows what happened there. <laughs> Uh, that sounds way too much like that was me, but it actually wasn't, okay? <laughs> yeah, I was alone in the vacation. I was young there, okay, to be fair. I was quite young. I was like 12 or so. Okay, Pendergram, thank you again. You are amazing. What did I talk about in this video? I I don't know sometimes what's going on with me. Like, usually I'm, I'm rather restricted what I talk about. Sometimes favorite food or so, and then you have these life stories that are just completely out of place. I mean, we have a boner video, okay? It's fitting. Are we still killing something? No, they have too much curse. They just get shot away and despawn, I think. Like, look at the witches getting bombarded away. Dude, we have a huge blaster there. <laughs> I said frosting, okay, but I didn't say it kind of pulled them out of the universe and they de like disappear. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of happening with the witches right now. Now my broom is bigger than yours. Dex, just shut up now, okay? It's enough. It was 25 minutes, actually 33 minutes recording time now. Okay, just calm down. There's the hack. Perfect explosion, by the way. Can we deal with the hack? She doesn't get frozen. If I... That's just taunting. That's just... Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you ever do that? It's next. How did you die so fast? Okay, it's, it's, it's our thrusting bone, unchokingly, because the bone is actually an insane boss killer weapon. But, like, what? Really? We did that. Wait, when did it happen the last time that I didn't get a single chest? Like, not one single chest in these videos. I don't think that ever happened. Because, like, even if I got no chest all run long, the one that I would get is the one in 25 minutes. Why did I get to Chiragisu? Oh, we could have gotten... What? There was something I wanted and I saw it and I said, Duplicator. No, I guess Duplicator wouldn't matter. Look at the amount of bones that we have. The thing is, at one point you just need to be satisfied with how many bones you have. Because otherwise you can't see the the baller within all the bones. You know the saying with the forest and stuff? Yeah, just apply that but with bones and, and something or something. I, I don't know. You can't see the shaft with all the bones around. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, but hey, it's better than nothing, okay? It's better than what I usually do. Uh, so yeah. I, I need to stop playing these bone guys and ball guys in this game. It, it never ends well. Especially the first bone video is really hilarious to me. The, the thing is, what happened a while ago was, originally, initially, when I started making videos, I was, like, holding back a lot, and I would rarely ever love, and if I loved, then I would, thank you, Pentagram, just cut it out, because I thought maybe it was a little bit weird, or, you know, sometimes I would talk to myself just out of fun, or talk bogus stuff, and I would cut that out, right? And the first Infinity Bone video was the first one where I decided to keep that in because I tried to say something where it was about that a bone gets stuck inside of the enemies. Actually, I don't even think it was about inside, but that you walk into a group of enemies, the bone is in there and goes ham inside of the group, right? And I worded this so poorly, but like in my head it sounded right. And I, in hindsight, looking back, I realized how it sounded. But then I tried to find another way to describe it, because I would cut it out and replace it with the new stuff, but I just kept saying the same stuff, because it was right for me, but it sounded so weird. Thank you, Pentagram. And uh, that was, I decided, that was the first time, I think, actually, that I decided to just keep it in, and maybe it entertains people, you know, and that's kind of how it started, yeah. And since then, especially the Bone and the Baller videos, they have been quite nuts, you may say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, moderation on the bone also very important for the ladies. Like, I I, 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 I don't mean if, if you're a lady, because I, I don't think then you have a bone. Like, so, uh, uh, unless you have, it's, it's okay. But, like, I mean, for, for the guy, it, it's the blue pill. Dex, can you just shut up? Okay, sorry. Yeah. 
28 minutes, and keep in mind the spinach heads, they give a lot of experience. Uh, Mito speed, um, I think I want my bone to be a little bit more oomph, you know, powerful. Ba bam! Uh, because the enemies otherwise just keep getting shot away and uh, we don't get experience. Chance on pentagram doesn't help us. There we go. More oomph. That is good. Uh, what's happened? Why is there a chest to my left? Wait, hold, hold on. Did I move? No, no, this is the base. Wait, what? Did it? What? The chest was to my right. Right? Like, I. Did I move? There's no way I move. This is exactly on the line here. Yeah, this is where you spawn. Did I move? Accident? Like, without noticing it? Sometimes I use my mouse to buy something, and maybe I did without noticing it? No, there's no. No, because then we would have been positioned over here. That is way too far off. You start down here. Wait, what happened to. What? Can you go back and. What? Actually, I want to go back now. I'll check it out in editing. Is there a chest here? I don't see one. Pentagram erased the chest that was next to me, and this was the 28 minute boss. Mystery solved. I don't even need to look at it. Oh my god, Dex. Good job there. Yeah, that's the boning power. The true baller. Okay, so, um, are we doing anything here? Yeah, that was your last chance to give me experience. I think it's safe to say, though, we managed to beat them. How long did it just take to kill this dude? Did you see that? Look at them, when they are frozen. Oh my god, we have no damage at all. Yeah, that is a problem. Like, the bone is just not really powerful. I kind of want to make a limit break video with the bone, but instead of getting one damage per level up, limit break, it gets ten. Like, I think this is actually necessary, because the weapon is just so bad at killing enemies. But, can we kill the Reaper? Can we bone the Reaper? Let's see. I don't think we have a weapon that can do anything to the Reaper. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean... Oh, okay. I mean, look, I'm giving it my best. I can't change it if I end up dying. The issue is, the enemies are already frozen, the Reapers. But if we trigger our clone weapon, yeah, it just goes off. But that doesn't extend the freezing time. So I would kind of need to walk around all the time that it doesn't explode and get triggered. But that's also not optimal. I mean, okay, if we fail to do it, we fail to do it. Oh, yeah, that was the last one. I'm sorry, I tried it. It's just a very complicated weapon, but hey, 50 million damage. Mortachio won the no movement challenge, easier done than ever before. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.